If you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, I offer same-day personal tarot card readings for $20. You receive your reading the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know of details is in the description box below of this video of how to book with me. Thank you so much. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 53 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here Libra and see what's going on with who you're dealing with, what are their true thoughts and feelings and intentions towards you. Now this is for Libras who are single and this is for Libra Sun Moon Rising in the North Node so it's not going to resonate with all of you but for more readings after this please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed 777 okay and um I do offer same day personal readings for $20 and what else here oh and I do have another tarot channel at Val 444 Tarot and a vlog channel at Val Smib Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you, Libra. so they start out um having fun with you or they like you they have a crush on you they're curious about you so either or here okay maybe they give you a message of love okay and <laughs> that was fast so either they just got upset that i just told you how they feel about you or it so what makes them happy is to bully you start crap with you get in a fight with you get um in an argument get aggressive with you okay very specific messages here so they okay this is weird okay so for some of you you guys are single but you had a child together and they hate the fact that they don't obviously hate the child they love the child they hate that they had a baby with you okay so that sucks but that's why they fight you all the time now for others of you what they're trying to say is they hate a random marriage or relationship outside of the both of you for the sake of you get to find out a lot about, I don't even know, about them and they're mad at that. But also they're trying to tell you, hey, it'd be a good idea if we gang up on this marriage outside of the both of us. I don't know how that makes sense, but there's that. Now, for others of you, they treat you like crap and they're pissed off at you because they do like you and care about you, have feelings for you, but they're in their own marriage and relationship, okay? And then for some of you, this is someone that's mad that, it, this is so particular. So they're, this is someone that has a crush on you and they just wish they could just marry you like today. But they feel stupid and they're annoyed that like in their mind, it's not realistic. Like you wouldn't just say yes right away. And so they fight and battle that. But either or of all those things I've listed, let's keep going here. Okay, so plans scratch all that now they're not making whatever anything that i just listed collectively of who you're dealing with now they're not going to do one damn thing they're not going to do one thing at all they're not going to there's no movement now no progress nothing instead they're just going to hang on to what they got create their own thing build off of whatever they got i don't know they're right now they're just showing that they're they're saving their money they're hanging on to what they got i don't know okay Maybe they work with you. They want to work with you financially. Okay, well, they're facing a lot of things about what's going on in life here. So reality is settling in for this person. Yeah, and now they don't really have the strength to do anything here about you or with you. Now they don't know which way to go. So they're starting to lose confidence. They're starting to lose their cool. Okay. But yet, okay, you, they, you guys do talk to each other. So they're going to message you, talk to you, text you. Or they're clear and aware of everything going on now about whatever's happening with them and you. Okay, and so now it's back to are they just not going to be independent and work at their job? Or try that hard? Or do they somehow get money out of you? Off of you? I don't know. 
Okay, and so now they're showing me Hmm. Well, yeah, there's an affair going on for some of you. They are in a marriage and relationship, you know, with someone else, but they have these temptations and all these things with you and you guys work together. For others of you, this is a very toxic friend and business partnership, but they, they know it and they're still going to stay involved in this with you somehow. They're really confused and don't really know who they are. So then they somehow take it out on you. And for some of you, this is an ex. So either or. Hmm, yeah. Things are getting messy at home, wherever they live or with, who they, or with whom they live with, unless this is like roommates or something, or, you know, this is family, you guys live with family, either or only you'll know. But it looks like things are very unstable and shady and scammy there. And it's the foundation's not strong there. Okay, but they still have confidence to build from this, grow, move on, move forward, organize themselves, figure out what they gotta do. They do feel passionate towards you. They do feel a sense of excitement and they want to plan with you and work on things with you here. Okay. And they want to make things balanced with you. Yeah, that's something that they understand and they know and they've reflected on everything going on in life about the both of you. For some of you, this is most definitely an ex. Okay. Or an ex-friend or like something, you know, someone from the past. Now, for some of you, they're choosing to still do toxic things from the past presently with you and towards you. Now, there is something going on in the back of their mind that they keep reliving in their mind about what's happened in a negative, toxic way in their end to you that they can't seem to move on and get over from. Like a bad memory or something. But like I said, they still have a lot of passion with you and towards you. They want a new beginning and a new chapter with you. They want something with you. And so it looks like they stalk you, they spy, they obsess, they creep, they try to get information about you to manipulate or, you know, when they message you, it looks like that's what makes them happy. Okay, that's what makes them happy is to do that because they, well, you also make them happy, so... I, I'm starting to think you, you got, I don't know. Anyway. I was say, yeah, I mean, they don't want to, they don't want to admit it to themselves. For some of you, you, you have a fan. You literally have a fanatic. You have someone that's obsessed with you. Like, they want to be you so bad. They may act like you, but they want, maybe you, you could be dealing with them and they want more out of you, okay? Others of you, you you're involved with a married man or woman and they are fighting themselves because they have, deeper feelings for you than they do with who they're with but at the end of the day they're gonna lie to themselves lie to you lie lie deny deny and not be honest still so you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sagittarius Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wait, right there before you click off. First of all, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that this helped you. Don't forget that I offer same-day personal tarot readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. And by the way, for more tarot readings, if you'd like, please check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. I have a bonus tarot channel for the general collective at Val444 Tarot. And if you want to check out my vlog channel where it's about our personal life, you'll see a lot of my husband there as well, at Val Smib. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you so much. Bye.